Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's MCAT series video, we are going to be talking about how to balance mental health and also pushing yourself with studying for the MCAT. It can kind of sometimes be a blurry line, but in today's video, I'm going to talk about how I am trying to achieve that in my journey and how I am hoping to encourage you guys with this video as well. But first, as promised, I will tell you guys how I am going over my full length practice exams. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to go over your practice tests. As I said in my last episode on this MCAT series, I was gonna tell you guys how to go over your practice exams so you can maximize your next practice exam score. For example, if I get a question wrong, like I don't know if I'm allowed to share questions or not, but I'll just paraphrase. So like this question was about a precursor molecule and I got it wrong. So what I would do is that I would go in my Kaplan book and find that precursor molecule and I would study everything around that subject. So it was talking about a specific type of lipid and what kind of precursor it is. And I got the question wrong. So I'm going to the lipids chapter of the MCAT book, went to the precursor lipid portion of the MCAT book, and I'm just going through all the precursors and writing it all down over again. This way, I will never get a question wrong around that topic ever again. So you have to be honest with yourself. Even if you get an answer correct and you didn't know 100% everything detailed in that question, look it up and then study everything around that. And that should help you not get a question wrong in that area ever again. It's a little intense, but I think that you should have like a notebook where you just go over your practice tests in and then you just look label it like right here I just put MCAT sample test and then I put the score of what I got and then um, I just write the topic like with this one it was talking about agonist and I guessed on the question like an educated guess and it was correct but I still wanted to go through the answer choices and be like do I know what A means do I know what B means do I know what C means do I know what D means and do I know why they're incorrect and why this specific answer is correct? So if you feel like you kind of know and you're not 100%, it doesn't matter. Go back to the drawing board and study everything around that so that next time when you get a practice test and it has a question around that topic, you won't get the answer wrong. And that's how you maximize your score on the MCAT. So this is good for your bio, biochem portion of the exam and your phys chem portion of the exam. But for the cars, I'm going to use a different strategy and when I am getting to that part I'll show you Hello guys, welcome back to another week of studying for the MCAT. So this is technically my fourth recorded week of studying, but last week I barely recorded anything because my family was here and I didn't do much studying, but this week we're back on the MCAT series, studying for it. I just wanted to record a little bit about it. And today's episode is going to be about mental health balance with studying for the MCAT. So I'm going to take you guys through this week and show you guys how I'm able to keep calm, cool, and collected about this exam that is soon approaching. I actually just booked it today as you guys will see. Yeah, I'm officially taking it on the 27th. You need to register at least six weeks prior to taking the exam. That's what our mom was saying. Also, I did Emma's hair. Follow me on Instagram at stylesbyprint because you don't want to be taking your MCAT with your hair undone, okay? I recommend registering for it two months before you want to take it because as my mom said, I almost did not register it for it on time. Register early. 
Hey guys, it is the second day of me studying this week and I'm heading over to Starbucks because I don't want to stay in the house. My camera is doing something weird, okay? I don't know. But it is Wednesday and it'll six, well, it'll six and we have a full studying day ahead of us. I'm gonna show you guys my Google Calendar so you guys can see it for yourself. So this is how it's looking like today. First thing I wanna do is UWorld, then bio, my cars, then more bio, and then Anki, and then a cars review. So since I'm mostly done with my content reviewing, I'm focusing on doing UWorld and reviewing UWorld and doing cars and everything like that. Yesterday, I realized that I really need to pay more attention while reading with cars because it's really really hard for me to break past the like average of like a 50 to 60 percent accuracy on cars i'm gonna do some more research on it today but if you guys have any tips please let me know so i just finished my u world stuff that i had to do and this is my score i got a 65 if you can see that I got a 65 which is a little bit above average um, so it doesn't look like there's a specific subject that really threw me off honestly I got that like the same amount wrong in each subject which is kind of hard to pick where I should focus on because that means like I'm kind of on the same level with everything go back and review that and just go through everything but first i'm going to take a break to answer 40 questions it took me about an hour and some change but i noticed like when i did my last practice test i had ample time to look over my stuff so i know that this is definitely harder than the mcat and because i know like this is not the official test of course i'm taking more time to go through things and make sure like my answer is correct and things like that i don't know if i showed you guys this yet Yet, but I made a Google spreadsheet for myself to like keep tabs on everything that I have done already and what I need to do that is what I have going on so everything in the yellow means I've already done it so I started studying May 16th so everything that's blank is my rest days so it goes Monday through Friday and here is stuff I had for Sunday some Sundays I didn't do much other Sundays I did more as you can see it's wednesday so i did u world so i'm just gonna make it yellow and i don't know why i did not write it out here but i'm supposed to be doing biology and i guess i wrote it out here instead so i'm just gonna move it onto this side after this day of studying i felt like i needed to get out of the house so luckily me and my sister decided to go out to eat and go for a walk on the campus so when you guys are having to study a good amount and trying to balance friendships and schoolwork just try your best to go out as much as you can and give yourself a break so Thursday I started off by doing a face mask which is very unusual for me because I usually start up and then do my devotionals and start studying right away but this day I decided to take it slow because I really was not feeling studying. I was feeling a bit burnt out and I feel like I just needed some time to myself to rest and recuperate so that was what I did.
love playing the ukulele. It's so much fun. Like, y'all need to get a ukulele. Shout out to my sister for getting me this because they're just nostalgic for no reason. Hey y'all, so I just had a very, very chill morning. I was supposed to start studying at like 8.30, but I didn't feel like studying, like I wasn't in the mood at all. So I just had a pretty slow morning. It is now 10.10 and I've just been chilling. I cleaned up my room. It looks much cleaner than it used to look like. I don't know, but like I cleaned out this space at least. Just been watching some YouTube videos and trying to get some ideas for my MCAT series and things like that. I'm just going to give myself 20 minutes just to sit in my bed and just chill because let me tell you guys, it has been a journey. The mental toughness you need to have to take this exam, it's starting to, I don't know, catch up to me now and I feel like I'm getting a tiny bit I don't want to say I'm burnt out. I don't want to say all those things. The words you use are important. So I just feel like I need to give myself a bit of a break. So I'm probably not going to study for a whole eight hours today. Probably be more like five hours. I think I just need some time to just chill a little bit. Mental health is so important and taking care of your mind, soul is really important. Not just taking this exam. You have to notice that like some things you can't get back. You can't get back time you spent with your family. You can't get back time you spent with your friends. If you're sacrificing too many things for this exam, it's going to bite you afterwards. So I just want to emphasize the importance of having a balance. If you don't have a balance, then how are you going to have a balance in medical school? Because you're going to be studying similar to this for the whole like four years. So how are you going to have a balance if you haven't started now? Alrighty guys, so I just literally started studying and it is 11, it's 11.26 and I don't know when I'm going to stop studying today but I definitely know that I don't want to go over 5 hours. Uh, so what I have on my to-do list today is to review my U World questions, review my CARS questions for yesterday, read a chapter of biology, do more CARS today. I think I'm gonna do U World CARS instead of Jack Weston. And then I'm gonna do some Anki. If I don't get to get through everything, I probably won't do CARS. But improving on Psych and Social is definitely easier than CARS. So if I have to replace something, it's gonna be CARS. That's my mindset right now. 2 a.m. in the car playing our favorite song. It up, windows down, we sing along. Hello, guys, it is the next day. This light's a little bit harsh. Hello, guys, it is the next day, and today is Friday, so you know what that means. It is practice exam day. It is currently 8:28. I plan to take my exam at 8:30, but we woke up a little bit late, so we're probably going to take it around 9 o'clock. I have my aesthetically pleasing breakfast here. We got some turkey bacon, avocado toast, and some almond butter with some jam, and an egg, coffee, water. We got all the works over here, okay? Probably going to be taking my exam around 9 o'clock. It took me 7 hours last time, so I'm thinking it should take me like 7, 7 and a half hours this time. So I'm excited about that. It's gonna be a blueprint exam. So I know like with other practice exams, your score might be a little bit deflated. That means like lower than it actually is on AMC. So I'm assuming to score around the same as I got last time. And I think I'm gonna improve a little bit more. And I'm excited to see what I get. And obviously I don't wanna be like recording myself taking the exam because it's very sedimentary. I'm not doing much, just sitting down, taking the exam. But I will tell you guys what I get afterwards. Guys, I'm literally on my break for the blueprint exam. And I don't know what question it stopped me at. I was on the last passage. Not even. I was on the second to last passage. And I got stopped halfway through. The blueprint exams are harder than I thought. It was really just exposing me. The AMC exam was... <laughs> So much nicer to me than this blueprint exam. This blueprint exam is exposing me, taking my confidence and just like trying to smash it. But you know what? It's okay. 
I'm currently on my 30 minute break. <sighs> the car section was something else. On the AMC test, I got to passage eight and I finished it. And on this test, I got to passage seven and was able to finish it. On my lunch break now, and it is very clear that this blueprint exam is way harder than the AMC exam. Like. I did not know blueprint exams were this hard. No wonder my blueprint exam score diagnostics was so low. So for my initial diagnostics from blueprint, I got a 190. And this one, I got a 497. And according to articles I found online, blueprint exams are like way harder. The car section, so hard, so hard. I think it's harder than you world. I got a 125 on everything except for cars. I got a 122 for cars, which is the same thing I got with my diagnostics. And my car says not improved. I got 21 correct out of 53. In chem, I got 30 right out of 59. In bio and biochem, I got 31 out of 59. So according to Google, blueprint exams are five to seven points deflated from the actual AMC exam. So my 497 is around 502 to 504. So I'm in the same range as I was two weeks ago. Totally fine, I'm fine with that, but I definitely do want to improve next week. So we're getting a little bit short on time. Seven weeks left, and the seventh week I might not be studying that much because school would have started. So we have a total of seven weeks left to straighten out the MCAT score. So I'm confident in the amount of time I have. I'm glad I'm on the right track. And I will be doing this review on the train tomorrow. <laughs> because I'm actually headed to Philadelphia to spend some time with my family. So they came here and I'm, I'm going back there. So it should be interesting with the MCAT series, how it goes. And yeah, that is the end of this week's episode of the MCAT series. And I'll see you guys in the next episode next week detailing you what I'm doing, what's up and how it's going. Alrighty guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.